Hey everybody. Well, time has arrived. Um, this is the uh, box I got from Izzy, and I decided to try some velvet. And velvet, I did try. Oh, I'm still trying. I decided to uh, have the first smoke of the uh, Winslow freehand. Very, very nice pipe, smoking very well. And this rustication, it also serves as a thumb grip. And it actually, it might sound stupid, but it actually works very, very well. It's a really comfortable pipe to hold. Very, very comfortable. Effortless draw. Uh, um, I've got another one of these uh, Winslows, which I haven't yet smoked. Um, don't know what I've done with it. In, it must be in one of the boxes or one of the other drawers. Um, but uh, this one certainly seems like a, a good pipe. I'm very happy with it. So, the velvet. This is a tobacco which uh, I've been wanting to try for a long, long time. The bag note is excellent. In, in, it's, in terms of the cut itself, it's it's a it's almost like a cube cut. It's quite roughly chopped up. It's not a shag. It's not a ribbon. It's 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 like chopped up. Uh, it's just chopped. Um, the actual aroma is like I said this morning when I did the. Um, the box, the, the package opening, the abo, it's got a interesting aroma. I can't quite describe it precisely, but it, it certainly reminds me of chocolate. It's It's got some uh, um, I think I said this morning it reminds me of Cocoa Supreme from Cigars and Snuff, which is a very sweet um, sweet, sugary, caramelly, chocolatey even coconut um, with a bit of a sweet spice kind of topping to it, on top of that, f those aromas. A bit of a cocoa-y kind of cooking chocolate kind of aroma in there as well. Um, it, it I let it dry for about 10 minutes. It is a bit moist. And I'll tell you straight from the off. I don't really like it. It's a Burley Ford blend for me. I can taste that straight away. In terms of the topping, some, sometimes I enjoy it and sometimes I don't. It's supposedly got some aniseed in there. Um, and I don't know if that's what it is that's giving me that uh, flavor that I'm not enjoying, or if it's the Burleys, or if it's the combination of the two. But um, aniseed to me is the aniseed balls which I used to have as a kid these really hard red balls which were sweet yet had that weird aniseed flavour but they were sweet as well but presumably because they had sugar added to them in this, in a tobacco it's the aniseed without the sweetness it's, I don't get much sweetness from this uh, blend I do get a bit of a very dry cocoa flavour. Loads of smoke output. Combustion is very nice. Um, Behaviour is very good. I just don't like the flavour. It's got a, a bit of a tart edge to it, which is coming from the aniseed, and I just don't enjoy it. I'm trying to decide whether that's it. sort of amplified when I draw deeper or if I just sip it. Um, and I think that drawing deeper just amplifies what's there 
when you sip it, except that um, when you sip it, it's just obviously a lot lighter. I think this one will bite you as well if you let it. I'm smoking it with a filter, but I'm still feeling a tingle on the tongue. I can really start to flavour, to taste the aniseed now. I'm, I'm about to a third of the way down the bowl. Actually, I haven't timed it in a while. I might be further down. I filled it just around halfway the bowl. It's quite a deep bowl. The aniseed flavour is really coming through now, actually. Hmm. Actually getting a little bit interesting now. I don't know, we'll have to see if this uh, improves somewhat as the bowl goes down. But as first impressions go, um, this is quite a burly Ford. The aniseed, as I say, is starting to come through and improving a little bit. Um, but I think that if there would be some sweetness in there, that would completely change this uh, blend for me. And I'm mulling over in my mind tobaccos I could use to smoke with this. And the first one which springs to mind is uh, Blood Red Moon. And I might do that. I might just put the two together and see how it goes. Two relatively reasonably priced tobaccos if you like blood red moon four noggins has it on offer at the moment so go grab some yeah it's definitely improving as i get down the bowl i will say that At the same time, it's tingling me more on the tongue as well. So, this is just the first impressions, no marking or anything like that. Uh, and to summarise, what I would say is that this probably needs to be dried more, number one. And number two, <coughs> um, I think one needs to wait until we get down the bowl a little bit because the flavours are definitely becoming more harmonious um, as I get down the bowl. But these days, I do try very hard to do my first impression videos in one take on pipe tobaccos. So I start smoking it beforehand. So it truly is a first impressions because I'm not going through the whole, all the various different stages and so on. It's just, um, I'm trying to save time on the editing and I don't want to spend all day taking up your time with a 30 minute uh, first impressions video. I think it's becoming better as I get down the bowl, but the overall flavour still is not one which agrees with me. I am going to try it with some cult Blood Red Moon and see how that goes, and I might come back to you in another video. For, so for now, first of all, Izzy, thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm so delighted that I was able to try it, and you never know if this blends up with something else and it becomes another London Fog experience and uh, success. You know, I'll have you to thank for that. So. This has been the first impressions of Velvet in the new Winslow pipe. The Winslow pipe certainly is great, I'm very happy with it. Um, it looks like it ought to be a, a flake smoker, but um, I, I mentioned to Eric this morning um, that um, uh, that I haven't actually, since I went over to 9mm, I haven't really got a a 9mm aromatic, a proper aromatic pipe. The only one I have is the Salvinelli 606, which I've always smoked Blood Red Moon in. Um, and um, so I might use this as an aromatic, which is why I smoked Velvet in it. So I'm probably gonna smoke a bit of Blood Red Moon in that shortly. And um, and then perhaps I'll do a blend of the two and see how that goes. So um, thanks very much. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>